It's here, and it's now at the Sternberg Museum. The largest shark that ever lived, Megalodon. It cruised the ocean for 15 million years. Come explore the blockbuster exhibit with real fossils and real life-size models that you can walk through. Could you survive an ocean with this giant predator? Test your shark smarts. Open now. Be consumed at the Sternberg Museum of Natural History with Megalodon, the largest shark that ever lived. Welcome to Sternberg Museum. My visit today is with Ian. Ian's out here all the time. You're out doing outreach as well all over Western right. Kansas. Well, yeah, usually during summertime, I switch from in-house tours and programming to taking the museum on the road. So Ian's so. kind of a teacher out here. He teaches people about great characters. Ian's a big Star Wars fanatic, right? Yeah, yeah this has kind of <laughs> become a... Uh, urban legend at this point. Well, you know, we, I, the reason why I want to talk about the Star Wars thing, and that's how this whole thing comes into place, you guys do have a Star Wars day out here at Sternberg mm -hmm. Museum, but one of the things that uh, you do with outreach is you go out and you talk about um, animals, prehistoric animals, uh, stuff like that, it, right. and, and it kind of goes into what we're going to talk about in a few minutes with, like, the Star Wars character. Right, well, on. you know, I was surprised that, you know, I thought I was alone in this. I thought I was just, you know, the, the lone nerd and finding ways to take these fictitious things and, and spin yeah. them into science. But it turns out there's actually a national trend. There's actually uh, several groups, one of which uh, you might want to look up is Cosplay for Science, mm -hmm. which is a, a group of museum educators like myself who all sort of gravitated towards the same things. You know, it's not all Star Wars, mm -hmm. but it is all using popular culture. We live in a time where we're saturated with popular culture. So you look at some of the movies and the TV shows that are out right now, people are living that. Mm -hmm. So we felt like as general educators, that's a good way to reach the public, is using these iconic characters and critters. So that's kind of the idea. And kind of cross it over, and, and that way the energy can come over to, right. to, to the, the old stuff that people exactly. may have lost. Well, you know, you can take scientific ideas, uh, critical thought, that kind of thing, and get them to take these fictitious things and use that same thought. That's where sort of the ideas begin. Well, you've been, a, like I said in the beginning here, you've been a Star Wars fanatic for mm -hmm. a long time. Mm -hmm. We've got somebody we want to bring in here. Um, and so we can, we, can, we can bring this one in. We'll talk about this animal right here. Let's go over here to this one. All right. What is it we have right here? So what this is is a Tauntaun. Okay. Um, so this guy was designed with uh, the... Kansas library system in mind. You know, mm -hmm. So we're talking, my area is all of Western Kansas. Okay. And this year they, they did a theme called A Universe of Stories. Every summer they have a library summer theme. Sometimes it's you know reading rocks, which is real easy for me to work into. Mm -hmm. But this year it was A Universe of Stories. And I thought, well, what's the best story in the universe? Star Wars. <laughs> so, um, yeah. so I thought, okay, how do I take, um, how do I take Star something, Wars. yeah, like Star Wars, and spin it into a teachable thing? Mm -hmm. and, and that's where I came up with the idea of, wow, we can highlight our zoological collection, which people don't see a lot of, mm -hmm. in comparing it to these fictitious animals. So this guy lives on an ice planet called Hoth. You see him in Empire Strikes Back. Um, those of you who are very familiar know this is the thing that Luke Skywalker gets stuffed in to mm. keep from freezing to death. So uh, I thought this would be a really cool thing to highlight. It'd be a very familiar thing to a lot of people. So you built this yourself. Uh, You're into building stuff I, as well. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, it started out with costume building for myself, and then I have recently started taking those skills and building big things. Mm. So this thing was an idea, you know, that I sort of laughed to myself. I was like, you know, we need a Tauntaun. And I was kind of joking about it with some students earlier this year. And then I thought, you know what? I'm kind of serious. So I just sort of started. I didn't really, there's not a handbook for building this kind of thing. So I just started with a frame and an armature. And from there, it sort of took its own personality. So you'll have a chance to go out and take this along with some other right, um, yeah, yeah. objects out to these right. Western Kansas exactly. uh, libraries. And the idea is to bring them something they haven't seen before, you know, something that is a little different. Okay, let's talk about something else we want to All bring right. in the camera here. Let's, so, let's pick it up and bring it over here to us. Can you want to hold All it? All right. You gotta be real I, careful. This guy's. Well, yeah, yeah, I didn't want to try that. This isn't mounted down. So this is a crystal fox uh, from the last Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi. Um, and this guy is, it's called a Voltex, which is, it's kind of a play on the scientific name of fox, which is Vulpes. 
So that's kind of cool that they actually borrowed from, from scientific literature to name their fictional character. But this animal lives on a mineral planet uh, made of salt. The planet is called Crate. So what you see here is crystallized fur. Mm -hmm. You know, basically the minerals on the planet, the salt, precipitate onto this animal's fur, and now you've got a crystal critter. And you also have a learning tool. And a learning tool, yes. Yeah. So uh, this was about six months of crazy. <laughs> this is all hand done. So there are thousands and thousands of little crystals on here, but it makes for a very um, shocking piece. To, yeah, just don't know. hit the hit the brakes too quickly in the yeah, van. Yeah, that's to your... you know you don't want to drop this. I'm always afraid I'm going to do that. So I'm okay. going to set them down real quick. So we do have a lot. Of, we do have a lot of these uh, for people to see, and uh, I guess they have to uh, be enrolled in these classes. How do they get enrolled in these classes? Um, well, they don't these necessarily. Libraries? I don't know. I do don't they know. just show up? Yeah, I think they just show up. I think the library sort of advertises. Um, that they're doing these programs. I don't know if they have... Well, I guess they could call those yeah, libraries. Yeah, I, now, do you have a itinerary on your uh, website? Um, no, but I will get one up soon. Okay. <laughs> uh, now that we've got the word out, yeah. I should probably, it's a good idea. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't think that far ahead. I tend to live in the moment, so a, I will I will work on that. <laughs> okay. Well, I just want to know where people will be able to go um, to to see yeah, some of these. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can look for us. Uh, the, next, the next library we'll be at will be in Stockton. Uh, from there, we go to Dodge City. We'll end up in Great Bend later in July. Um, we will also take this on the road to uh, Smallville Comic Con, which is in two weeks. So you will be able to see some of these places. Uh, Comic uh, Smallville Comic Con is in Hutchinson. Okay. Um, so you'll be able to see these in, in all sorts of, of areas across our region. So, so it's, it's part of what you all do out here at Sternberg Museum. You have right. this uh, great learning that uh, right. goes this outreach program. Right. But if people want to find out more, they could come by the, li uh, by the museum. There's right. plenty going on yeah, this summer. Absolutely. They can check out the museum website. They can also check out our Facebook page. Uh, and you can also check out the, the libraries. Um, you know, they usually are pretty good about having lists. Of well, very good. Anything else you want to add? No, I think that's it, is just, you know, keep thinking critically and thinking about why things work the way they do. Very good. It's Ian out here at the Sternberg Museum. Again, check out their website for all the cool things happening and the outreach programs as well, because it's cool stuff for the kids. I'm Mike Kerner. Again, Sternberg Museum. Check them out this summer. This is Eagle Community Television. It's here, and it's now at the Sternberg Museum, the largest shark that ever lived, Megalodon. It cruised the ocean for 15 million years. Come explore the blockbuster exhibit with real fossils and real life-size models that you can walk through. Could you survive an ocean with this giant predator? Test your shark smarts. Open now. Be consumed at the Sternberg Museum of Natural History with Megalodon, the largest shark that ever lived.